Hello, today we're cooking chicken vegetable soup and here's the way it's going to look in the end. Now if you want to see how we made this, come on and join us and watch our video and you'll see exactly how we did it. And this is so hot I can hardly hold the bottle up, uh, but it sure is good. Yes, it's delicious. So, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today we're going to make some chicken vegetable soup here. And this is the ingredients we're going to use uh, so far. We might add a couple more to them along the way. If we do, we'll make a note of it. We're going to have some snap beans here we're going to put in there. I've got some frozen peas. Now this is a combination of frozen and fresh and, and canned. <laughs> so, by the way, and we got the, we got the peas. We got this... Uh, Three blend or three pepper and onion blend here. That's real good. And we'll put an onion in there also. I got a zucchini and a squash and a can of Rotel tomatoes here. And the only problem I've got is that chicken is froze hard as rock. But never fear, I got a Ninja Foodie, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna put this in the Ninja Foodie in a minute. First I'm going to put this, I've got this uh, container of chicken broth here, 33% less sodium, which is what I like to use when I find it. And so I need four cups in there, it just so happens this box has got four cups in it. So, I'll put four cups in here. Okay, now these two little chicken breasts here, these are the two smallest ones I, that was in the pack when I bought the pack and separate them. So they weigh, you know, one of them just jumped on in. But anyway, both of them together weigh about uh, just a little over 12 ounces. So that's how much we got in there. Now, I'm going to, uh, now all I'm going to do in, with this right now is I'm going to get those thawed up enough where we can cut on them. And while we're doing that, we can do something else. So in order to do that, we're going to come over here and turn on the power. Oh, we'll go up. Well, i got to change the lid. You can't do it with this lid. <laughs> but it just so happens I've got this pressure lid here. You know, you line up your arrows in the front like that. And turn it clockwise until it locks into place. Turn your vent back here on seal, not vent. And then you come over here and turn your selector knob that comes over here on pressure. It's going to be on high. It's going to be 10 minutes. We're going to leave it on high, but we don't want the 10 minutes. So you push the uh, time button there. We're going to bring it down to about 4 minutes. That's all we want to do on that. And so then we'll go hit the start button. Now, in the meantime, while that's getting started, we're going to go over here and start getting our veggies ready. Now I'm almost positive everybody in the world knows how to do this. You just take and pop the ends off these beans here and then you snap them a couple of times and they make a nice little snapping noise there to let you know that they're uh, snap beans. And that's why they call them snap beans. Hear that? Snap beans. So I'll finish these and then I'll wash them. Oh, by the way, did I say welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom? I don't know whether I did or not. But just in case I didn't say it before, I said it now. And if y'all get a chance, give us a thumbs up and join our channel. We sure would appreciate it. <laughs> okay, go back to what you was doing until I finish snapping these beans. Okay, now I finished my green beans, got them washed. Now I'm going to do this squash right here, cut the ends off of it. I've washed the squash and the zucchini. Okay, now I'm going to cut these right down the middle like this. Or attempt to as good as I can. And now I'll slice them.
take the big pieces like this and cut them again. <laughs> well, I guess you have to, you know, just that were how you like them. There you go, that about does it for me though. Alright. Over there, and then we'll do this zucchini the same way. So I'm gonna slice it down the middle, wipe it off a little bit. It's still pretty wet from when I washed it. There you go. All right, now stuff this in that same bowl with those string beans there, or snap beans, or whatever you want to call them today. Uh, that will get the potatoes ready. Okay, I've got out my vegetable peeler. Just pull around them just like this. Okay, now I've got my two potatoes peeled. So, and, and by the way, that uh, the. Uh, and then just put your deluxe is pressurized over here and it's cooking that chicken. So I'm going to get on the ball here. No time to spare. By the time I get finished cutting these up right here and getting everything in that bowl, it'll be, uh, that's four minutes to go be up on this cook over here. Now, next thing we'll do is dice these up, or not dice them up, chop them up we'll have pretty good sized hunks of them you know like that or like that you know because you don't want it real real small and in, uh, in soup you don't want it like it's diced but about like that I guess that'll work whatever works for you okay now we're finished with the potatoes we'll go dump those in that bowl Coming, coming together now. Uh, now we'll go get this onion over here and get it cut up. Okay, now it's been finished that four minute cook here for two minutes and 43, 44 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and release the pressure back here. So it's been sitting there resting for that long. And so, give it that much time. I don't know how much time it's going to take to come on out. So. We gotta wait until this happens so we can. Does it sound like I'm in a rush today? I'm in a rush. I must be hungry. <laughs> gotta wait for this to settle down here and then we can take the chicken out and get it over here on the cutting board and cut it up. Then we can put it back in the pot and we'll continue on with our veggies. Okay, now, pin and pin's right on cue that time, dropped when I wanted it to. Okay, now we're going to turn it counterclockwise. Turn it away from your face. Now that already looks and smells good down there. So now, we're going to take our tongs here. Pick up a piece. Set right over here on our cutting board. Do the same thing to this piece. Okay, now you know that's too hot to hold with your hands, so I can get this tongs out from under my shirt sleeve here. Start chopping it up like this. You know, about bite sized pieces, maybe a little bit smaller. Some of these are a little bit big. Just a little bit more than that. Depends on what mouth size you're talking about, you know. <laughs> uh huh. All right, now we'll do this in the same way. You know, and this for the most part looks done. I mean, I think you could probably eat it just like it is right here, but we're not going to. 
it's not quite done. It's a little raw in places here. Okay, now let me get out my other bowl up here. Oops, sorry about that. Now we're going to put this chicken down in this bowl right here. Now we're going to get out the good old uh, all-purpose chicken seasoning by Lowry's here. And I'm going to see if I can open this container. Sprinkle it on there pretty generously. And just mix it up a little bit, you know. Put a little more on there. This sticks to it, you know, because it's wet anyway, so we're we'll gonna drop it right back in that water, so put enough flavoring on there for it to stay. Alright, now let's move back over to the Ninja Fitted Deluxe here. Okay, now I'm going to dump this bowl of veggies I got here right back in there. I'll spread them out a little bit. I'm going to take uh, the chicken, put it right back down in there. And then, I don't think I mentioned this a while ago, a can of corn we'll put in it. Of course, my Rotel tomatoes. And I've got 11 ounces of this uh, seasoning blend here, these three pepper and onion seasoning blend. i put in there. And now I've got this uh, cup of green peas. Okay, now I'm going to stir it up a little bit here. Okay, now I'm going to put back on the pressure lid. Now let me give you all a clue about this pressure lid. If you're doing it pretty quick like this, like taking it off and then putting it back on, you actually need to run a little bit of cold water in this lid while it's upside down, you know, while you're over the sink. And just slosh it down in there because if you bring it back over here scalding hot, when you put the lid back on, the button tries to come up and you can't shut it. So if you just go ahead and take a little time and just rinse your lid out, you know, with cold water, and then put it on, you won't have any trouble with that. Tell me, I had to, I had to learn from experience myself. So, so anyway, now we're going to go back to, uh, let me get you over here so you can see the clock's still running over here. So, I went back to pressure and it's on high. Ten minutes, we're going to run it up. We'll leave it on high. We'll go hit the time here. Then it'll start flashing. Then we're going to run it up to 20 minutes. And then we'll hit the start button. Now, trust me, it's going to take a while for that pin to ever come up this time. Because you've got so much cold stuff in there, you've got stuff in there out of the freezer, you know, like the uh, peas and 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 seasoning blend and stuff like that. I'm gonna keep track just for the heck of it. I'll tell you how long it took, but we'll be back. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay, and there popped up the button. It took 19 minutes. <clears throat> I figured it's gonna take quite a while on this thing right here. And now I don't know, even know how long it's going to take for the uh, lights to quit working up here or to start counting down. Uh, I'll be back when it does and let you know. Okay, now it's been over <clears throat> two minutes since the uh, button come up back there and started counting down. Oh, we got a second, I just want to remind you all to wash your hands and stay away from everybody and wear a mask. And <laughs> And watch and stay home with me and watch YouTube videos. 
watch my YouTube videos first and then watch everybody else's. That's the way it's supposed to work, you know, so. Oh, and by the way, if you get a chance, check out our links down below. You might see something down there you like from Amazon. Now, that's all the commercials I got or can think of, so. We'll see. I thought that button would be popped up. I mean, uh, time would start counting down while I was standing here running my chops, but it didn't, so. I won't hold you here. I'll let you go. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, and there it went finally. Started. It took almost five minutes for it to start uh, counting down after that button popped up back there. So, you know, the more you got in your pot, you know, the fuller it is, and especially the colder it is, you know, the longer it takes. Although you would have thought that broth I had in the bottom of the pot here would have helped it, but didn't help it that much. <laughs> so, we'll be back in about 19 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, now one very important ingredient I forgot to put in this, and it's going to make a difference, is my carrots. I was going to put about a half a pound, a half a bag of this one pound carrots in there. And so, in the recipe down below, when I write out the recipe, it's going to mention the carrots in it. And, uh, but you're not going to see any in this pot because I wasn't put in there. So, just so you know, don't forget to put in your carrots. All right, now we're about down to uh, 17, 16 seconds left on this 20-minute uh, cook here. And it smells good in this house, I'm going to tell you. I bet it's going to smell a lot better since we opened that lid. Okay, now it's coming down to the end. Okay, and then it's going to say keep warm. Okay, now I'm just going to let it have a natural release here for 10 minutes. And then we'll go... Uh, quick release the rest of it so he'll count down for us for 10 minutes and then we'll get back to it okay now believe it or not 10 minutes has gone by so we're going to come up here and turn this valve to, to, to the right and the steam is coming out so it'll take it a couple of minutes So don't do that at home. <laughs> we'll be back. Okay, now it's been a little bit over eight minutes. Well, it's been eight and a half minutes since I hit that relief valve. And I think it's going to drop it any second now because it's not making any noise. <clears throat> but you ought to smell the fragrance coming out of this thing. I tell you, if there's a way to bottle that and sell it, <laughs> you can make some big bucks, I imagine. Because it sure does smell good in this house right now. It'd even smell better if I hadn't forgot to put the carrots in. And there it went. And now let's turn the lid counterclockwise. Pick it up and away from your face. Oh man, that looks good. Now, move you on over here a little bit so you can see better. Some good looking soup right there, vegetable soup, chicken vegetable soup. Every time you pick up a, a ladle full, you got how everything is in there. I'm gonna get me another bowl of it here. Mm -mm -mm. That's gonna be delicious. Okay, now it finally cooled off enough to let me know I need to add some salt and pepper here. Oh, this is good, good. Mm -hmm. It's funny how just a little bit of salt and pepper make a world of difference. 
So that's about it for this little video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I hope you come back and see this real soon. And if you can, watch more of our videos. And thank you very much for watching this one. Y'all have a really good and safe day. And come back and see us as soon as you can. And goodbye now.